playing octaves, and basic tongue blocking. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Harmonica Joe, and I provide high quality, in-depth musical instruction for harmonica players. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play octaves, and to play those octaves, we're going to be using tongue blocking. So this is a real good introduction for tongue blocking if it's something you don't normally do already. Playing the octaves is a real important part of playing blues harp. So octaves just kind of sound like this. So today I'm going to use a Honer crossover harmonica in the key of A. I was going to use C, but C seemed a little screechy today. So I'm using the key of A. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Honer crossover, I'll put a link up above where of a video where I describe them and show you all about the, the Honer crossovers. So what I'm doing is I'm opening my mouth big enough where I can uh, cover four holes. So in general, you're going to need to be covering four holes with your mouth. And then you're going to use your tongue and you're going to cover up the two holes in the middle. So for example, if I'm using uh, the four holes here, one through four, because I'm going to get my C note, or well, in this case it'll be A and A on uh, holes one and hole four below. So, and I'm going to take my tongue and I'm going to put it right in the middle there and I'm going to cover up holes two and three, if that makes any sense, okay? So I'm gonna cover holes two and three, and if you put your tongue on a piece of wood or plastic there that's right below, right between holes two and three, then you'll get a good sound. So, and now you're gonna use, it doesn't work quite, at least for me, everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm using, I'm rolling my tongue over a little bit uh, because the tip of my tongue doesn't cover enough of the space. So if you hear a little bit of note, other notes leaking in there, you have to use maybe a little bit uh, more of the fatter part of your tongue. So I'm going to cover holes one through four, blow. And that's what it should sound like. Now, if you start hearing other notes, then that's not the sound you want. You want the note to be exactly the same, it's just gonna be one is gonna be higher pitched than the other one. It's gonna be eight notes apart from the uh, lower note. So here's hole one and four, blow. You can also get it on uh, two and five, blow. And I'm doing the same thing there, so uh, on holes two and five, I'm covering up holes three and four. So I'm putting my tongue right over the, the uh, piece of the comb or the plastic or the wood that is in between three and four, and that'll cover up most, most of the holes. So my tongue is covering up holes three and four. And so if you kind of aim right for that piece of wood right in the middle there uh, between the two holes, you'll end up getting equidistant uh, covering of both holes. So holes uh, two and five again. So what you can do is you can practice going back and forth. Just go slow and you can even do it as a shuffle. That was holes um, three and six. So that uh, sounds like this. Boy, I like the sound of that one. That sounds really good. So we have now one and four, two and five, three and six, and they're all blow. So no draws yet. After holes three and six, what we can do then is go to four and seven. Now four and seven is going to give us the octave above what one and four gave us. So it's going to be the same notes all over again, except higher. So there we go, four and seven. 
you can hear it sounds the same as one and four. Now if you start making it, if it sounds like it's going a little bit out of tune, it could be because you have a little bit too much tongue on one note or the other. And uh, if you heard that last example that I just played, it was a little bit out of tune on the uh, on hole one, and I moved my tongue over just a fraction of an inch, and it brought it right back into tune. So that's what you're going to need to do. So when you're starting out and you don't have the tongue position, when your mouth position quite... Uh, memorized yet you're gonna have to fish around for it a little bit so take your time go slow and work with it just work with two holes at a time and make sure that you're not getting in any, any extra sounds okay so that was the uh, lower end of the harp on the blow notes then the other one we can do is we can get five and eight And then up on the top part of the harmonica, we can get holes 7 and 10. And that's again, is the octaves of in the key of the harp. So it's the same as 1 and 4, 4 and 7, and then you have 7 and 10. And they're all going to be the same note. So that's kind of cool. Okay, how about draw octaves? There aren't as many on the draw notes as they are on the blow notes. But we have uh, four of them available, and the first one would be one and four draw, which is an awesome sound with a distorted microphone. These are pretty easy to play, but again, if um, you're having problems, you're getting any extra notes, you want to fish around and make sure that those notes go away. Now again, I'm using my tongue, uh, the flatter part of my tongue, up against the plastic or the wood uh, piece of the comb and between the holes. So as you're playing them the same way as you were doing the blow uh, octaves, now we're just doing it on the draw notes. So that was one and four. So now on four and eight, you're going to have to open your mouth a little bit wider because now you have to cover five holes and your tongue's got to block three holes. So it's a little bit more uh, difficult than the other ones were to play. Um, I don't know that you're going to use it that often, but it's really good to know and be, it's good to be able to play it. So that way you have another color, another sound that you can use. Um, so what I would suggest doing is find the sound of each hole individually first. So have four draw. So you got that into your head, in your mind's ear, and then you have eight draw. Okay, and you have that note in your mind's ear. So that way you know what the proper note is supposed to be played. And now I'm going to open my mouth wide enough that I, have a, I can cover five holes. So you're going to have, the harmonica is actually going to be a little further into your mouth than you normally do to get these five holes. Do you hear it there? So that's what it should sound like. Now that was four and eight. And then you have one more, uh, which is hole six and hole 10 draw. So again, the same thing. Um, you're going to have uh, five holes that you have to have your mouth open for. So the harmonic is going to be a little further in your mouth, just like four and eight. And you want to just get each hole individually so you get the sound into your mind's ear. Okay, so I know what the proper note that I'm looking for is. And now I'm going to try to play it. See, there it is. So that was holes uh, 6 and 10. So... It takes a little bit of practice for these. They're not real hard to do. None of these octaves are hard to do. The blow octaves are the easiest. They're the most useful, but you're also going to use that whole one and four uh, draw octave as well when you're playing uh, uh, blues. So go and try them out, see how they go for you. 
The other thing uh, you should do is go back and listen to your recordings, your favorite recordings, a little Walter, a big Walter, whoever it is, William Clark. Uh, he used a lot of octaves, which is really neat. And he used them, especially when he was playing the chromatic. Um, so go back and listen to your favorite recordings and try to pick out where the octaves are in the solos or the songs that they're playing um, and try to imitate them. Try to stop the recording and try to figure out which notes that they're playing. Um, and then that way you'll be able to add it to your playing as well. All right, so that's it for today. So I'll see you on the next video. If you liked what you saw, uh, please put a comment in the comment section down below. Hit the subscribe button and the bell, so that way you'll get notifications when I come out with a new video. All right, guys, well, I'll see you on the next video. Keep on harping.